Welcome back for the first week of Lent in the book, Hard and Holy Work, A Lenten Journey Through the Book of Exodus. So one of the biggest themes of this Lenten study is seeing and paying attention to God's world. I want to invite you to think about Lent as one of those children's puzzles that asks you to search for the hidden picture within the scene. At first, you might look at this drawing of an everyday scene and not see anything really unexpected. But then as you take a closer look, all of a sudden, all these things start jumping off the page at you. You might see a giraffe or an ice cream cone or a tricycle, all cleverly hidden within what seemed to you to be an ordinary picture. That's what we want to do together this Lent, to take a closer look at what we thought was an ordinary scene around us, to listen to new perspectives, especially marginalized voices that we may not have listened to or sought out before, and to begin to see things jump off the page at us. We think this work of paying attention in God's world is some of the most important spiritual work that you and I can do. Exodus 1 begins with this powerhouse group of women who are all conspiring in the work of justice. But I want to zero in on one of them, Pharaoh's daughter. So Pharaoh's daughter is out bathing in the river one day when she turns aside and sees something unusual. She's paying attention and she decides to go take a closer look and discovers this basket floating down the river that has one of the Hebrew babies in it that her father has been wanting to kill. Now, what's interesting is that the same verbs that are used to describe Pharaoh's daughter's actions in this part of the story are also used to describe God's actions in the story. Just as she hears this baby crying from the basket, God hears the cries of the Israelites in the wilderness. Just as she sees and comes toward this basket, God comes towards God's people when they are crying out for help. All these verbs are ones of paying attention, of going out of one's way, of listening for a deeper sound and taking a closer look. And because they are aligned with God, it means that there's something about paying attention that actually aligns us with the character of who God is. And so what's a way that you can pay greater attention to the world around you throughout this Lenten season? And how are you gonna carve out time and ways to do that? Maybe you can share about that with your group today and keep each other accountable in this hard and holy work. Or what's something that's been really concerning to you recently as you have been paying attention? What is something out there in our world that is compelling you to take a closer look 